Hi guys, welcome back. For those of you who don't know, haven't seen my videos before, I'm Becky. I'm a mum of three, an 11 year old and identical twins. And today I'm gonna to be talking about essentials for your hospital bag. This is actually gonna be done in two parts. Um, essentials for you, for mum in your hospital bag, and essential list also for your baby or your twins. Um, especially because if you're having twins, they're likely to come before 36 weeks especially if they're MCDA like mine were, um, it's 36 weeks or before, so it's best to have a bag for your babies in case they need to spend time on NICU. Um, you know, if they're on an neonatal unit, you're gonna need these things, so here we go. Baby's hospital bag, nappies. First thing you're going to need, if your baby's premature, you're gonna need really small nappies. They do them in a size zero, you're gonna to have to get some nappies. The hospital will provide your baby with nappies, but they don't like to do it for long, which is fair enough, the NHS, we all know what that's like. Get your baby some nappies and take them to hospital with you. They're not likely to come out of the first size nappies, so size zero whilst you're there, unless you're gonna be there for a long, long time. So make sure you've got enough for at least a few weeks stay. Next thing is clothes. Your baby's gonna need some vests and your baby's gonna need sleep suits. Make sure you've got enough for both babies. Obviously, you've got two of them. So maybe at least a week's worth initially. And then if you need any more, if anybody's visiting partners, family, they can bring some back down for you. Or if you're not staying at hospital, you can obviously take some down when you go down on a daily basis. You're also gonna need some cardigans, especially if your babies are premature. Um, if they're moving to um, a less heightened supported place on the neonatal unit if they're in an open cot or in a hot cot then they're going to want something over the top of their sleep suit and their vest so cardigans i actually took knitted cardigans i had um quite a few family members and friends who knitted us uh, cardigans which were absolutely amazing so i took those and and the twins just lived in those basically blankets Take some of your own blankets. When you're going to see your babies and you want to get them out and hold them, whether that be separately or together, depending on how you can do that, you're gonna need some blankets to wrap them in because they won't necessarily be dressed at this point, especially if they've got lots of wires and cables and things all around them whilst they're still um, in the incubators. They're not gonna be dressed, they will just be in their nappies and you will want to make sure that you get them out for cuddles. You're gonna need blankets and it's always better when you've got your own things there so make sure you've got at least two blankets one for each baby make sure you've got those in your hospital bag the only other thing i would say is you're going to want to be taking lots of photos whilst you're there if you're not staying on a ward or you're not staying on a room on the neonatal unit make sure that you've got a charger uh, with you so that you can charge your phone if needs be you're going to want to take fit photos videos especially now during covid when family members can't go there may be restrictions that only mum or dad can go at certain times or uh, separately you're going to want to send photos do um, calls video calls to people if you can and if you're there all day which you likely will be then it's very easy for your battery to go dead so make sure that you've got um, a charger packed for you the last thing i would say to have in your hospital bag or to at least consider is a dummy now a lot of people either agree or don't agree with dummies that's your choice you know personal preference however if your baby is premature or my babies are 33 weeks so when they're born they're too early to know how to suck how to feed how to feed from a bottle they're tube fed and they were tube fed for the first at least two weeks until we started to introduce bottles to them the best way to get them to start to suck is via a dummy um, I don't know if that's different for breastfeeding. Personally, I didn't breastfeed. I was expressing and I, I wanted to continue to express and bottle feed. So it may be different if you're planning to breastfeed, but if not, then a dummy will be your savior because it'll be the first thing that you can put in your baby's mouth to make sure that they can start to suck and get used to that sucking motion. And then you can then move them onto a bottle um, pretty quickly after that. So, I would suggest having some dummies. If you're not sure about it, 
the hospital um, will often provide dummies. They'll often have some there. I didn't like those dummies. There was quite big. It seemed to take up all of my baby's face. So I made sure that I took my own dummies. There will be sterilising facilities there so that you can sterilise the dummies. Um, but also make sure alongside the dummies that you do take some or pack some of your own bottles. Again, initially when the babies start bottle feeding, um, they'll be using teats from the hospital that they will put on um, either formula or your express milk if again you're going to be bottle feeding. Um, but think about when you're able to then move them on to the next stage. If, they're, if that's going to happen whilst they're still in hospital, which it likely will do, you want to make sure that your babies are going to be used to the bottles that you're going to use at home. One of the mistakes that I made was going out and buying a load of bottles that weren't necessarily appropriate for premature babies. So I then had to go out and buy more bottles um, to get the babies used to them. They're, there's lots of different brands out there. They don't have to be expensive, but you just need to be mindful mindful that certain teats are quite hard and babies may not take to them if they're premature and they're small. Again, once you know they're taken from the bottle, it can look like that the whole bottle or the teat is taking up most of their face because it's so big. So make sure you've got some bottles and some teats ready and you can sterilise them at the hospital.